Hey guys, welcome to another stuffer. We are in Joshua Tree Park today. And we will show you the best places to visit, the best spots to take some awesome pictures, and we'll give you some great tips as well. Enjoy this video. Joshua Tree National Park is the place where the Mojave and the Colorado Desert meet. Joshua Tree is known for its fascinating variety of plants and animals, its rock formations and its dark skies at nighttime, making it the perfect spot for stargazing. This national park got its name from the twisty and spiky Joshua trees that are scattered all over the park. Joshua trees are part of the agave family and its Latin name is Yucca brevifolia. Thinking of visiting Joshua Tree Park? Let us give you the highlights if you only have one day like we did. We entered the park at the north entrance located in 29 Palms since we had booked an Airbnb there. We recommend entering either at the west or the north entrance since most of the park's highlights are located in the upper part. To get a nice first look at the stunning rounded rock formations the park has to offer, we made our first stop at Skull Rock. The rock got its name for obvious reasons. The rock is nice, but we loved seeing all the rocks around it even more. A great place to get some first shots for Instagram. Next up we wanted to make our first proper hike so we drove to the Hidden Valley Trail. This is a loop trail which will take about an hour including time to get some nice photos. It is a great trail that is manageable even with extreme temperatures we had that day. Make sure to check out our tips for visiting Joshua Tree Park at the end of this video. From the Hidden Valley we drove to the Chola Cactus Garden a bit towards the south of the park. We had a beautiful view over the park during this 30 minute drive. You'll find Chola Cacti all over the park but at this place you can see the tallest ones and all growing together which makes for a beautiful sight. The Chola Cactus is easily recognized by its light green stems. Just a quick reminder, it is a cactus, so it will prick you and leave many little needles in your skin if you decide to accidentally touch it when you make a picture. Which of course is a tip not at all from our own experience. Well, anyway. Time for another short hike. This time we drove up to Arch Rock. This is also a loop trail and it's only half a mile. It will take you up to the fascinating rock formation. You can climb up and take some great photos. Fun facts, along the hike are various sites that will explain some of the history that contributed to the creation of the arch. By now you've seen the highlights of the park for daytime, but wait, don't leave just yet. Because you will regret it a lot if you don't plan time to enjoy the sunset and do some stargazing. One of the most popular spots to do so is at Hall of Horrors. Even though it was in the summer break, we didn't find many tourists at this location, making it all the more special to enjoy the sunset all by ourselves. No noise, just this awesome nature and us, and the occasional desert hair.
We found a flat rock to lie on and see the stars appear one by one as it got darker and darker. We even made some great starry night shots with our photo camera. Bats flying by right above our heads completed this amazing experience. Here come the tips for visiting. Get the national pass called America the Beautiful and save money when you visit more than one national parks. Bring enough water, obviously. Bring food because you will love all of the park and you'll want to stay to watch the stars. Or do what we did, get out of the park for just a quick bite and then head back in for the sunset. Remember, it's a desert, so no cell reception, no electricity, etc. There are restrooms though. There are some great campgrounds in the park, so if you want to stay there more than one day, this would be a great opportunity, especially if you want to enjoy the stargazing. Stop by the visitor center to get up-to-date tips and information. They can advise you on what trails are suitable in the weather conditions of that day. It's a popular location for rock climbing, so if you are into that, this park will have it all for you. Even though this was our first national park on our road trip, it is one to remember and the day we spent here might easily be in the top 5 days of this whole trip. Ik dacht al, waar is die gebleven? Did you hide from me? No. I was thinking, where is he? A lot of people say that Joshua Tree Park is not worth visiting when you're doing a road trip in the west coast of the USA. Well, we started at San Francisco and moved our way up through Highway 1 to Los Angeles. So this is our first national park on our route. And I have to say it's awesome. It's beautiful. It's nature as we wanted it. Uh, we wanted nature to surprise us and it really did. It's, it blew us away. I totally agree. It was totally worth visiting. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below and don't forget the bell notification and watch our other America videos. Yes! See you soon! Bye! Hi! Do you want to see us stuff more food in our mouths? Then subscribe to our channel or watch another stuffer!